All right, here we are. The Dead Cells tier list. Uh, this is going to be for Melee only for today. We'll get to the other ones later, but we're starting with just Melee stuff. And I uh, just want to get a few, and we're going to have a video. We're going to have some video to showcase off some items and talk about them and whatnot. Uh, but for now, I just want to put a couple little tiny, teeny tiny disclaimers. Uh, this is from a 5BC perspective. And because certain items are better or worse in certain boss cells. Some are easy to use, some can sort of just face tank through the game, etc, etc. Uh, some get benefits in the higher BCs. And every, almost every item on here, you can win. You can win a run with um, at 5 BC. Or 4 BC, either or. Um, so, with that out of the way, I'm just going to talk about what I personally think are the strongest items in terms of how easy they are to use, how consistent they are, etc. etc. And we're just going to go down the list from alphabetical order, because I'm pretty sure that's how this is laid out. Uh, and we're starting with the Assassin Dagger. So, Assassin Dagger. Uh, pretty interesting item. This is a good example of one of those items that is a lot better at lower boss cells because you can just take take your phaser where is it take phaser take scheme and initiative and just sort of one hit most enemies but as you go further up in difficulty its damage really starts to fall off and it really can't get those one or two hit kills nearly as consistently and then when you get to bosses you pretty much are forced to go concierge into uh timekeeper into hand of the king and it can do okay against uh concierge perfectly fine and you know not every weapon can do great against other bosses but once you get to Timekeeper, you have to get right up next to her, and you don't want to be really close to Timekeeper most of the time. You can, you can, but it really doesn't uh, do the damage it needs to. However, it does have one use, and we're actually going to show it off in Concierge. I've done the, I've shown this video already, uh, so no sneak peeks. At anything we got going on but one of the weirdest strongest utilities of it is it has a very very fast hit speed now it's still not as good as another item we'll be talking about later that has the same animation but you can pair it with ice shard which makes a big deal if your item works with ice shard which most do you're viable uh, plain and simple it, this is a viable weapon because you can just slow down enemies and get tons of heart of ice and crits off and use your skills to win uh when i say skills i'm talking about like infantry grenade and cleaver uh so you know it doesn't just translate to that once we get deeper in the run towards actually when i fought giant we're gonna be seeing a lot of giant today uh but you know if you, you can just take it with ice shards and you can get those wins off with it so uh, without talking too much about it, yeah, you, you can get some damage off with it. It works. It's just a very fast, very quick attack. And it really works with uh, that strategy with Ice Shirts right now, I think. So, Assassin Dagger, I think it's in the... It's inconsistent, but you can make it work. You can force it to work. Uh, speaking of items that... You can for you used to have to force to work. Balance blade used to suck, but it got a real nice buff here in this uh, here in 1.9. Also, this is for 1.9 only, so we will not be judging the rework for 2.0 for this. Uh, but we'll get to that later. Uh, so balance blade now. Because it used to, you just had to get 10 hits and then it started grid. And it was really inconsistent and really 
mediocre. But now, it gets damage up to those hits. So for every hit, it does 10% extra damage, and that damage can really add up. Now, I do have some video of it. It's not very impressive. I actually sucked in this video, and it was times three damage. But since then, I have learned, this is also with Frenzy being stupid broken, so I healed all my HP back. Uh, but since then, I've come to the conclusion that this item is very, very good with Hakuto and with Ice Armor. Because Ice Armor lets you get those crits going. Because you need to get the hits all in a row to get the crits going. But until then, it if you get hit during that time, it resets. So Ice Armor lets you get to those 10 hits. How did I get hit from that? Hmm. Uh, so yeah, Ice Armor and Balance Blade, Hakuto, you're set. I actually think this is a B tier item. Pretty solid. Requires a little work around, but you can make it. it you don't have to force it to work. Uh, for Assassin Dagger and all this stuff, you generally, you're gonna struggle a bit. All right, Blood Sword, talk about some buffs. Um, I actually liked Blood Sword a lot before this. However, it's way better than it was before. And basically, let's just let's just go to the video. We got some video for Blood Sword. Uh, where is the one I want to show? So this one, it's not gonna be perfect video. Uh, let's mute this. But we're gonna skip up to giant, and we're just actually let's let's show it off against uh, conjunct. So we're gonna skip ahead, and this is gonna be a great example of how strong Blood Sword is at applying dots and just shredding bosses. Took a lacerator aura there. All right, so just, we'll just take a tiny little gander, and with Hakuto and Blood Sword, this is basically proper Balance Blade. This is why you don't want just take this instead of balance blade most of the time so as you can see conjunct very quickly shreds down to her phase and a couple of hits so probably don't really need to show much more of this fight it's that's kind of what blood sword does um nice dodge there idiot but yeah it shreds bosses and if we jump forward to giant Ooh, that was a quick giant fight. So I do have a lot of scrolls here. I I got a lot of scrolls in this run, but it's not gonna, it wouldn't make much of a difference. So we can look at this fight, and we'll see just how much damage it really can do to a boss. So we get through this phase, and watch this health right here. In just a few swings, we take him down to almost half HP. Nice jump, idiot. Uh, so now in two phases, we're basically able to kill him. So yeah, that should be all you need to know to know Blood Sword's good. I, could, I can show you the Hand of the King fight too. I'm not going to show you the spoiler stuff, but just look at Hand of the King's HP. Just very quickly going down. So that kind of shows Blood Sword. It's a dot machine does really insane damage I think it is it might be an S tier it, I think it's just on the borderline S is gonna sort of be like these items you don't have to think that much you can sort of just go mind numb and beat the game uh, but yeah it's very very good broadsword pretty good pretty good uh, this is gonna be a B tier item do I have footage? I might. Uh, I don't want to go too deep on every single one of these items because it'll be 7 billion hours. But Broadsword, it works good with it works good with Ice Shards, which is nice. Um, it's actually one of the best items to use with Ice Shards. I don't have footage for it, I don't think, anymore. Uh, nope, I, I think I deleted the footage. But it works really good with Ice Shards. It's one of the best items to pair with Ice Shards. And... When I talk about the giant killer and show its footage off, you can 
just swap out broadsword for giant killer and they both do the same thing but it also you know it's just a crit machine it does huge damage it can really hurt enemies you just gotta kind of play a little patient with it it's really good with shields uh something like a cudgel works great with it but yeah broadsword pretty good uh actually i'd say it's probably better than the balance plate crowbar crowbar i don't have footage for uh but we can talk about it. crowbar sort of needs one specific item to work properly if you, you can make it work before without it but you really need the emergency door which is a which is rough oops uh let's get that with everything else you really need the emergency door uh and you need to run it yeah you don't need to run it on purple but it's better on purple it's way better on purple i think uh but yeah having the, the door with you lets you crit more often and it's okay it, it does what it needs to do it's a very generic weapon you break the door you hit hard um it doesn't really have much special besides that and because of the existence of certain enemies it can struggle especially because if you're playing it on tactics which i think you generally want to be doing uh certain enemies just can give it a lot of issues let's make sure we don't sport doing spoilers but just a fair warning because there they were uh there might be a uh, the spoilers are through there that's dumb so there's some spoiler enemies i might scroll over them a little bit but sorry uh so the guardians this isn't the right name they're oven knights now uh nice job wiki these guys are a big struggle for a lot of enemies, and we'll be talking a lot about them. Rats are also an issue because they just hit you real quick, and that damage adds up, that malaise adds up. Um, dancers, but you only, need, you only see them in Slumber and Sanctuary. Uh, Guardians, rats, and to a lesser extent, these three. These three aren't so bad, but uh, these two in particular are real rough for a lot of items, and when we talk about enemies that cause builds to struggle things like shield bearers can be annoying bats can be annoying uh crowbar kind of struggles with a lot of these because it just doesn't get the kill off always um but it's okay it's very decent it can get the run done and i think it might be a bit more consistent than dagger you really just need that door and you can win the run it's not gonna do anything special i'd rather run any of these so yeah that's crowbar uh, let's see, Flash and Fans. I don't have any footage for this one. Uh, or if I do, it's very, very limited, and I'd have to look through other videos. But Flash and Fans is really good. Um, it's sort of generic, a generic hit, kind of like Balance Blade or Crowbar. But the damage is really good, and there's really not much else to say about that. It has the Reflector and the ability to crit afterwards, but it just does good damage and there, that's all there is to really say about it um i do know that you can pair i believe with the barrel launcher now in the new 2.0 patch but that's gimmicky flashing fans is just one of those very generic but very solid you smack them type weapons all right curse sword our first f tier item uh curse sword is a it's a meme it really is. I could name this meme tier. Um, you're not playing Curse Sword because of its strength. Because it hits harder than every other weapon in the game. Uh, 553 DPS. It, it'll shred enemies, but you die in one hit. Grab it if you get a Curse Chest. Grab it if you want to try and get the achievement. Uh, grab it if you're confident in a boss. Uh, I've been trying to get my curse sword finish but uh you know it's a meme not much else to say about it. speaking of items that might be a meme uh flawless flawless is a tough one to talk about this is basically curse sword light <laughs> um you don't die in one hit but you might as well be useless if you get hit uh for 15 seconds after before you get hit it's it's shredding enemies it's doing some good damage now my base issue with flawless is one it doesn't even do a ton of damage something like vorpan does more damage on a crit uh 
spiked boots does more damage on a crit. War spear, yeah, yeah war, war spear sucks. But uh, we'll get we'll get to war spear. Don't worry. Valmont does more damage. Spite sword does way more damage. So even when it's getting that huge damage off, it's not a lot. And I don't like its animation that much. That said, if you grab ice shards with it, it can work. Um, if you grab ice armor, you can help with its flaw of hits. But it is real bad in boss fights if you get hit. So you really need to know boss fight patterns. Um, probably need to go concierge because if you go into Mamatic or conjunct, you're probably going to get hit at some point by a tentacle or one of the spikes and then you can't you probably can't go timekeeper because timekeeper can just pepper unless you have a shield obviously um and giant if he hits you you're dead you're or you if he hits you you're gonna be useless for 15 seconds which is a lot in that fight um <sighs> I don't want to say it's D. I almost want to put it in meme, F slash meme tier. Like it can work, it, you, but it requires a lot more effort to work than Assassin Tag or some of the other things we're gonna be talking about. I think so. I think it's gonna be in the D tier. Unfortunate. All right, uh, but it's okay. It's getting it's getting some company. Uh, I had footage of this, but I deleted it because that run was awful. And this weapon sucks. Don't use it. It's a charge weapon that doesn't do damage. Uh, I want I want charge weapons. I want more charge weapons like Nerves of Steel in this. Charge weapons are really cool. This item just sucks. Don't use it. <laughs> uh, Alright, Frantic Sword. Frantic Sword is a tough one to talk about because you gotta live on the edge. And when you're playing good with Frantic Sword, it is good. It's like the... Like, it's the opposite of Flawless. Because Flawless here... When you get hit, you're useless. And Curse Sword, if you get hit, you're dead. Frank Sword, you can you can get hit once or twice. And during that time, when you aren't hit, or even after, it's doing some good damage. It's I know it says it has less damage than like Flawless. Actually, no, it doesn't. Flawless sucks. <laughs> but it's damage. It is strong and it's fast. Uh, you just gotta have high malaise or high or low HP. Um, you can run it with Necromancy, you can run it with a lot of things, it has very great cooldown reduction. I really like this item. I don't think it's quite good enough to be here because it isn't consistent. That's its biggest flaw is that you're gonna lose runs if you play Frantic Sword. Um, but I think it's probably there. Yeah. All right, giant killer, giant killer. This is an item. Um, actually, oh, perfect, perfect. Uh, five BC wind pictures. So, I could go through probably, probably over half of these have winds. This is back in the one point seven or one point eight. Giant killer. Uh. That was a minor spoiler, sorry. But I go through tons of wins with Giant Killer. This item is great. I love its animation. The animation is just quick enough to kill enemies. It works with so many items. Ice Bow, Mushroom Boy, Ice Shards. Like, it isn't just being carried by our shards. But, as we've talked about, the easiest build to win with in Dead Cells uh, was a video I posted a bit ago. And... With Tonic Ice Shards, you can just become pretty much invincible. And then the Giant Killer will shred the bosses for you. Uh, Giant Killer is a beast of a weapon. And as long as you get the... Let me see. Here's me in a shop. You need one affix on Giant Killer, and you're good. Go down. Come on. You've gone on every item but the giant killer. Come on. Come on, idiot. What are you doing? Why are you looking at that tonic? I get it. You're talking about something with the burning effect. Oh, there. So it has victims slow nearby enemies when they die. If you get that, you're good. 
uh, giant, giant killer is great. First S tier item. It requires very little workarounds, uh, and you can win any run with it pretty easily. Would recommend. All right, Hayabusa boots. Again, this is prior to 2.0. This is not a 2.0 tier list. It's a 1.9 tier list. Um, so it's gonna be weaker, but even still, I think it's an okay item. It can, it could in 1.9, and it can in 2.0 stunlock Mamatic really easily. Uh, it can. It's just a very decent weapon, and I think it's a very good contender for like the bottom of B tier. I know B tier is getting a little bloated, but don't worry. Uh, according to the list I have in front of me that I made prior to this, we're almost done with B tier items. Uh, speaking of an item that's not making it into B tier, we have the Hayabusa Gauntlets. I might have a win with the Hayabusa Gauntlet somewhere in here. Uh, is it this one? It might be that one. Or this one. No, it's definitely not that one. Uh, Hayabusa Gauntlets is okay. It really struggles against Oven Knights really bad, and then it sucks against Hand of the King. It is so bad against Hand of the King. I've gotten wins with it. If I go in the screenshots, I could find it. Uh, it's fairly early on in my 1.9. Uh, here's one. Here's one. This is a gimmick. Don't don't run high boosted gauntlets. It's not awful. It's really decent in biomes, but hmm. My initial thought was C tier, but I'm wondering. I'm gonna leave a C tier for now, but it might go join our friends down here. It has some flaws. All right. Uh, impaler. This is a born item. You just stab people. You get melee. There's not much else to talk about, but it's good. It's probably here. Honestly, it might be here because it's more consistent than Frantic Sword. It's a very boring but consistent item. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, that looks good. That looks good. All right, Tick Scythe. Tick Scythe. I do have some footage for this one. Uh, Buggy Giant, Tick Scythe Finish. Let's just show it off against the Giant. This is a red Tick Scythe, but the same goal applies. You want to get victims slow nearby enemies on it, and you want to just know your patterns. Tick Scythe, very, very powerful. I'm, I don't like it a lot. This is not my favorite weapon. So, by me recommending you run Tick Scythe, you know it's good. Um... And yeah, I don't think Tick Scythe, like, it is one of my worst weapons, I think. But it is a very powerful item, and all you really need is some good affixes on it. Um, you can run Ice Grenade. I know a lot of people use um, Heart of Ice is very strong with it, and Biomes. Uh, and yeah, just a very good item. Uh, I actually am putting it in S tier. Uh, I don't think it's as good as Giant Killer. Giant Killer, I think, is a lot less brain consuming which is good uh we'll get rid of that and we'll get rid of this because the assassin dagger tick scythe very good very good not as good as the meat skewer i don't have footage for this i thought i had footage i think i did i might have footage somewhere which one of these was it it had ice shards in it because i swapped it out with something hmm uh full run is it this one this might be the one let me look because i want to show i sh uh oh hey this is the hibusa gauntlet that's right i swapped off meat skewer so i could play a hibusa gauntlet for some reason so i did get a win with hibusa gauntlet here but before that i was running this meat skewer in cavern Meat Skewer is one of the best items in the game, I think. Um, come on. Come on. Buffer video. Alright, well, that's buffering. Uh, we're going to let that buffer for a minute. Uh, I actually think it is at the top of S tier. I think it's better than both these. Uh, it gives you iframes. And that's really all there is to say about it. 
is it's very, very, very strong. Uh, you can be invincible and crit and do good damage. Uh, it's not that one. It's this. Let's see just a little bit of footage. Let's move forward a bit because I actually wasn't in the biome. As you can see right here, I do have the ice shards going with it, but you can do this on purple and it works just as well. And you can do it without ice shards and it works just as well. Uh, you can see it pretty much just stabs through an enemy and kills him. And if it doesn't kill him in that hit, you turn around and you stab him twice. Uh, this item's great. Absolutely run it. Do your daily challenges to unlock it. One of the best items, I think. Alright, Nutcracker. I have some more footage. I have some more footage. And we're just going to show Conjunctivious. Uh, let's go back just a few seconds. And while that's buffering up, we'll talk about it. Nutcracker, it requires you to have a root of some sort or a cudgel. Um, but when you get those, it does some really, really good damage. Uh, yeah, that's really all there is to say about it. It's a very powerful item. Once you get that wolf trap down or your boy's axe in them, run it on green. I was just testing it on red. Um, because I was curious if it worked on red, and it does, but it's way, way better on green, uh, with, uh, you can run with ice shards, uh, it's one of the better items to run with ice shards, actually, but run it with a shield, run it with wolf traps, run it with heart of ice, or, um, crits, and you're good. Uh, very, very good item, I think it is, just under bloodsword. Alright, oil sword, this used to be the team, this was... Definitely, I think, the best item in 1.8. But it got a lot of... Not nerfs, but it got... Things nerfed around it that nerfed it. Ice Shards combo, no longer a thing. I, it kind of is still a thing, but it was actually nerfed for Oil Sword specifically. Because it's no longer on red. Um, the Flamethrower has double cooldown. Not a huge deal, but it adds up. It can no longer get... It, I mean, it can still get bonus to poison, but... It, um, it can't get the plus 100% to poison, plus 100% to burn in oil. Um, it's sort of like the strong version of these two. If you're running Frantic Sword for its power, you can just run Oil Sword for its power, and it's way more consistent. It's a consistent version of Frantic Sword that you don't really pair with Hakuto, and then Blood Sword's like a consistent version of Balance Blade that works. Um, so yeah, that's all, sir. Rapier. This one's hard for me to talk about. I haven't played a ton of Rapier. This might be my least experienced take. Uh, I, I, we got a couple more. But, Rapier, it's okay. You roll, you get crits. It doesn't do a ton of damage. It's sort of one of those items that you can win with. I wouldn't recommend it. There are way better options, but it definitely can work. Yeah, I like it right there. That looks good. All right. Rhythm in Bazooka. We are hitting another S tier item. And I don't have footage of this one. This one is a... I know how strong this item is from me seeing other people play it because I suck with this weapon. I am not the person to play this weapon. You never want to see me play this weapon. It's not good. But this item's really, really strong. It hits super hard. It hits in a big radius. Uh, it's an S tier. All right, meme starter weapon. No point in using it. All right, say stiletto. This is the big brother of the assassin dagger. Say stiletto. You just need a bleed or a poison source, and if you don't have one, you take open wounds and you kill everything in the game. This was the best item maybe and 1.8 and it's still really good it got similar nerfs that oil sword got but it's it hasn't slowed it down this item is busted i think it's probably right there uh hmm. is it better or worse than the banjo for me it is for my personal takes i think it's 
better and easier to use than the banjo. I could see an argument for either one of these four being the top item, I think. Second to top item. We'll get to the top item here in a minute. <laughs> uh, now, let us talk about... Oh, sorry, just one second. Uh, my insulin pump is being a dummy. Alright, there we go. Seismic Strike. Seismic Strike. This item should not be as strong as it is. This should be right here. However, there is these two things that are breaking this game right now. Three things, actually, that are breaking this game right now that happened to pair so well with Seismic Strike that it is one of the best items currently in the game that you can play. So Seismic Strike roots the victims. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty decent effect. You know, it can work. It, you know, it's not great. It's not great. But then you think about Heart of Ice. So now you already have a self-center too with Heart of Ice. Then you can just add on Ice Shards to that. And now you slow and root every enemy while critting them while hitting them with a very slow but strong weapon. Um, this doesn't have a good representation of its damage, but it can do work. And if it doesn't do work, you can just take a Crusher with you, which does do huge damage, or a Giant Whistle. Uh, base combo damage is 250, uh, which is pretty good. And then you just take Tonic, and you have an infinite Tonic. It's one of the items that can infinitely run Tonic, and... It shouldn't be as good as it is. It really shouldn't. It should be here, but it's here. Uh, so yeah, shovel is a boring weapon. Uh, you know what? You're gonna get a sneak peek at a video. Uh, let me show some shovel gameplay. Where is it? Is the boomerang one? Uh, where's my shovel? Boomerang shovel, vampirism. This is a dumb build. I ruined my double boomerang. Uh, let's go deep into the run. There's a balance void. I don't know what I was thinking with that. Let's go to Hand of the King, actually. Because that's where the, I got the shovel, actually. Uh, so you're only getting some Hand of the King footage for this. But, Shovel actually works specifically really good against Hand of the King. But other than that, it's just a weapon you swing. It's very generic, very boring. Uh, but let's watch it in action against Hand of the King. Because this is where it's best. This is where you want the Shovel. If you see a Shovel in High Peak Castle, go ahead and take it. Because it, it'll do some work. Uh, look at this. It's doing the damage. So it's getting the damage off that it needs. But then... You're going to see it here in a second. Come on, Anakin. You do it all the time, and now you're not doing it while I'm playing Shovel? Look at that. Those grenades, not even an issue. So, yeah. Shovel. Really boring item, but against Hand of the King specifically, it's very good. Which is a big deal. If an item is good against Hand of the King, and you know what? That's such a big deal that I'm going to move this down to D tier and shovel up to C tier because you have to fight Hand of the King to beat 5 BC or 4 BC kind of um, or any difficulty you have to fight Hand of the King you can't just skip Giant and you're good you can't just skip Concierge and go into Conjunct I don't know why you would need to do that but shovel being so good against Hand of the King I think it's born and it's nothing fancy and it doesn't have great damage, but it's so good in that fight that I think it's right there. Alright. Uh, I could... I've already made a guide on this video. Um, of how strong this item is. So I'm just gonna let the Shrapnel Axe with Ripper and Support do the talking for me real quick. And then I'll give it its ranking. Um... So here's Giant, and just, here's all you need to know about Shrapnel Axe. And I've found more uses with it since this. 
Uh, <laughs> it's really good with root axe, or root axe. It is a root axe, but it's really good with boys axe. It's really good with firebrands. It's really good with any offhand item. It's good with boomerang. It's just a very, very high DPS super shotgun. And that's really all we need to discuss about shrapnel axe. Um, so... Mm hmm. Hmm. What's more important is where is that? It's not an S tier. It has too many issues to be an S tier. It requires a lot. Of, it does require some build around, but that build around is super worth it. So I think it's like here. Okay. Next we got this. I'm not your person for this item. I hate this item so much. If it was, if I didn't know people had gotten wins with this, and I hadn't seen videos of people getting wins on 5 BC with this, I'd put it right here, 100%. I hate it more than the Rusty Sword. With that said, you technically can win with this item. I still think it's trash, though. This item sucks. I'm gonna say don't run it. But other people will say you can run it. Uh, I think it's better than Flawless, though. <laughs> Flawless requires you to not get hit, which is not a good thing for a survival or brutality weapon. That's slow. Uh, speaking of items that are so-so, uh, Spike Boots. This is sort of like the weaker version of... It's not even like that. Spike Boots just kind of sucks. It's right with the Spartan Sandals. Enjoy your time in mediocrity. You're just a... You're better than Spartan Sandals, though. I'll give you that. You're better than Hayabusa Gauntlets, too. No, you're not. Hayabusa Gauntlets are good in biomes, at least. Uh, you can get up to Hand of the King with the Hayabusa Gauntlets pretty easily. Alright. Uh, Spite Sword. There we go. Um, what do I even say about this item? I think this is the best item. The the only the only reason this isn't the best item in the game right now is because tonic and ice shards exist. Um, and I think it might be better than uh those. Let's see. Do I have it anywhere here? I do have it in my videos. Playing three off-color items to show how bad the new... Oop, let me go back real quick, because I was in spoiler territory for sure there. So let's just go to Hand of the King. Let's just go to Hand of the King with this. Um, and you don't have to run it just like this. So we're going to let this buffer. Uh, all you need to win with Spite Sword is Vengeance and a shield. And you can just hold the shield up, take the damage... You won't take any more damage, and then you can use Frenzy and heal yourself back up infinitely. Uh, so, you're going to see me just sort of build a face tank him here. As you can see, he's doing no damage to me at all while I'm doing damage to him. Um... The only thing you need to learn with Spite Sword is sometimes you need to use potions. Um, but just use a shield, full block, and you won't take malaise. And just kill everything with Spite Sword and Vengeance and Instinct. And this item was busted. So, easily the king of the melee weapons. Alright, Swift Sword. Uh, Swift Sword actually got a buff. Uh, and a nerf. Just didn't get them directly. So the nerf is that Frenzy heals less now. But Frenzy still heals a lot. It's not a big deal. The buff is that Tonic exists. Um, this is going to be a sneak peek video, actually. Let's see. Where are you? We're at 39 minutes. That's not bad. It's before that. Before this. Shout out to Don't Starve. Uh, and King Claw. So sort of Tonic. Here we go. You're going to get a sneak peek at this dumb item hey i'm trying to mute you 
All right, so let's just go to we went to Timekeeper. Why don't we go to Timekeeper? Let's get, here's some Timekeeper footage for you, though. Uh, so it can pair with the throw knives. It can do that strategy, but we'll just show you the footage. We'll just let Tonic plus Swift Sword speak for themselves because Tonic gives you a speed boost, which means in bosses. The biggest weakness of Swift Sword is gone. Before, if you wanted to get Swift Sword crits and bosses, you had to take a uh, Masochist and get hit by their traps or spikes or whatever. But now you can just take Tonic and face tank them and heal through them. So uh, yeah, Swift Sword is stupid good. Frenzy might have gotten nerfed, but Swift Sword is still great. Now in my pre planning i put it below this but i honestly think with tonic it's so good that it might be there because it's a free biome killer it kills everything in biome super easily and all you need to do is fish for one tonic which is super easy with the shops doesn't matter what the tonic does just needs to be a tonic and you're good so there we go that's all the s tiers though uh, none of these are S-tiers, that's for sure. Uh, Simlance. I hate this item. This item, I almost want to put an F-tier. But, ah, screw it. This item sucks. Curse Sword's lonely. But don't worry, this item can go below you. These two items are trash. I hate them so much. Don't run them. Also, don't trust me on the opinion of them, but I hate them both so much that I can't say they're anything better than the worst items. Uh, Torch. Torch is super... It's... It's Blood Sword Light, and that's not a bad thing. It's right there. You run the same as Blood Sword, you just smack them, and you either run from them and they die, or you take it with a Hakuto and they die in one hit, or you take it into a boss with Hakuto and everything falls apart. It's basically just a blood sword, but with fire. Which is not a bad thing at all. Uh, twin daggers. Twin daggers are... Okay. They're okay. They do decent damage. There's nothing really fancy to them. They are like kind of the definition of a C item. Uh, Valmont Whip. Valmont Whip is... <sighs> I don't know how I feel about Valmont Whip. I want it to be better than I think it might actually be. Like, in my heart, Valmont Whip is, like, right here. In my brain, it's... Here. It just... The damage is not consistent. You have to space perfectly, which isn't too big of an issue, but if... You can just run so many easier items. So, yeah. Sorry, Valmont Whip. I, again, in my heart, you're like right here. But, uh, yeah, that's Valmont Whip. Okay. Uh, Vorpan. Vorpan is a tricky item to talk about because it's way better than it should be. It does a ton of damage on its crits. And the biggest issue with it is I don't run it ever because it doesn't crit giant or uh oh yeah 289 on its crits. That's really good for its base damage. That's better than the flashing fans, which are I consider good crit damage. Uh that's impaler level of damage. Let's get the oil sword crit. That's better than the oil sword. Yeah, this item is good. It just I wish it crit on giant. Uh, I think realistically it's like this though. You just have to go to either Mama Tick or Concierge and then Timekeeper, which no one wants to do. So that's unfortunate, but uh, yeah, it's really good and it hits really really hard. Uh, War Spear. War Spear is. Eh, it's really good in biomes, which is important. Um, its biggest issue is bosses, 
which is a really big issue to have, but it's good enough in biomes to where I think you can win with it, especially because it can get the slow effects. And it's like a better version of Simlance, because Simlance is just so slow. But with War Spear, you can just run Ice Shards, and you can with Simlance, but with War Spear, it'll actually work. Uh, Alright, Wrench and Whip. This is the last item to talk about, and it's okay. It's kind of just a, you pull them in, you kick them. There's not much else to say about that. It does decent damage. It ignores shields, which is really nice. Um, that's why certain items like Hayabusa Gauntlet's struggle is because oven knights are everywhere. But I don't think it's good enough to be in B tier. I think it's too... It's very much like a twin dagger. It doesn't quite do anything specific. And I think it's better than these two, honestly. We'll put it right there. That's the list. Uh, there you go. So if you ever want to know my opinions on 1.9 brutality stuff, here it is. Uh, let me know how wrong you think I am. Let me know how good. Not these. These items all suck. I'm not gonna listen to. Uh, you can't convince. You can't convince me that these items are good. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you might well convince me on the spike boots. Uh, so if you think, if you think spike boots are great, let me know. Uh, yeah. Have a good day, everyone.